Hello, Dr. Markle here of Centennial Schultz Clinic talking about avascular necrosis of the knee, also known as osteonecrosis. So let's talk about some of the causes of AVN of your knee. Uh, typically, it's from high doses of corticosteroid use, high consumption of alcohol use, or trauma related. Uh, but rare, it could also be from that knee uh, meniscal surgery or arthroscopic knee surgery you had uh, can sometimes cause and start avascular necrosis in your knee. These are all what we term secondary causes. Primary causes would be of someone that sometimes gets what's called spontaneous osteonecrosis of your knee, which happens in typically females more than men, um, three to one, as well as individuals over the age of probably 60. Now primary, the initial one I talked about, typically is in your 20 to 40 age range. Now, will AVN heal on its own? Typically, the answer to this is no. Uh, very rarely, probably 10 to 20% of them will potentially respond on their own, but typically they will progress over a time frame. Now, how, fa how fast does AVN progress? It's very much dependent on the individual, the size and diagnose, um, size of the lesion when diagnosed, as well as some of the symptoms. If someone gets uh, diagnosed with AVN just more on a diagnostic screening and they have no symptoms, the chances of, it, of that progressing over a period of time, probably over three years, is typically right around the 65%. If someone has symptoms, uh, the chance of progressing then um, jumps up to about 85%. So progressing from early on stage one to stage two, three, and four um, can happen as soon as anywhere from a few months to about as most as three years. Now, what is the best treatment for avascular necrosis in your knee? If we look at the literature and research, uh, traditional orthopedic surgery typically does a core decompression. Now that core decompression is essentially where they take a, a drill bit, um, drill out the dead part of the bone and assume and hope that the actually bone itself around it will heal the devoid bone. Now this is something that's successful probably about 60-65% of the time. If we utilize a regenerative orthobiologic such as bone marrow concentrate where we take the repair cells and concentrate them out of your bone marrow and precisely inject them into the area of dead bone. Now these uh, stem cells and regenerative cells stimulate new blood flow as well as regenerate the bone itself. And this is something that's been studied numerous times over the last 10 to 15 years with excellent outcomes up to 80 plus percent. So if we look at the pictures here, we can see the white areas where the arrows are in the top right uh, are an area of stage two avascular necrosis. There's no uh, cartilage collapse, even though this person is extremely symptomatic. If we look six months afterwards, we can see most of those areas of the bone have healed and symptoms have um, grossly improved. So if you or any loved one have been dealing with avascular necrosis of the knee, have any questions or concerns, or possibly whether or not you're a candidate for any of these re non-surgical regenerative medicine treatments, feel free to reach out to us. You can comment or share below, or also look, at, look for us on Instagram, Facebook, contact us directly, or go directly to our website. I hope you guys have a good day. Take care.